Hi, this is a brief overview of building and developing a new website. The steps are fairly simple, but if some are missed out, there's a good chance the site will fail. This is why it's important to follow a strategy, and here is a step-by-step -step outline of how we approach it. Stage 1 is the initial keyword research and development, which includes the website build. Stage 2 is the ongoing marketing of the site, which includes building additional web-based assets and building backlinks to the site as part of the search engine optimization. Stage 3 is all about measurement. If the site has been set up to include Google Analytics, we can see what's working and what's not. This enables us to fine-tune the site and marketing activity to increase its page rank and visit account. This is a fundamental stage and lays the foundation for everything else. We use Market Samurai for keyword research, which provides vital real-time information about actual keywords and the volume of traffic they generate. This eliminates the guesswork in the keywords we decide to use throughout the site, and it's vital to search engine optimization, or SEO. We strongly recommend WordPress as the development platform for its ease of use, easy editing, and excellent search engine optimization capability. This is an ongoing process and includes building more web assets and strengthening your position. It is something we can give you guidance on but it will require regular input from one of your team to successfully develop your market position over time. Having a website with inbuilt analytics will enable you to fine-tune your site and keywords and react quickly to changes. Measurement of your site's performance is critical. You can measure traffic, demographics and other factors that are key to the success of your website. Here we are only focused on stage one, research and the actual site build. At this level, it's also important to follow a strategy. The first step is keyword research. The importance of keywords cannot be overstated. Most websites fail because they've either done no keyword research or they are trying to compete for keywords that are simply too competitive. It's vital you understand how much traffic your keyword should generate. This will be a balance between traffic volume and competition. If it's a new domain, it's a great opportunity to register a domain name that contains your primary keywords. This will give you a significant advantage. It's unlikely prospects will be searching on your company name. Try not to use the same domain name host as the website host then if one disappears, it's not such a problem. Look for a host that supports WordPress and a one-click installer. Unless you're an expert in design and web development, use a professional to build it. Be clear on exactly what you want the site to achieve. Is it to drive sales leads or provide information, etc.? Plan out the site structure, taking care to build the key pages around keywords. Try to construct the elements of each page around providing key information rather than trying to sell. Remember, visitors have found you. They don't want a hard sell. Tell it, don't sell it is worth remembering. What is the main proposition? Try to convey this simply and efficiently. Graphics and video help get the message across. Pay special attention to your landing or squeeze pages. These are the main pages you're driving traffic to. They need to convert. Orientation is critical. A major factor for a site not generating leads is because the visitor doesn't understand the proposition or there just isn't one. Remember, you have only a few seconds to engage the visitor before they hit the back button. This is one reason video is so powerful. It helps engage and inform without much effort on the visitor's behalf. Remember though, it needs to have good quality sound and video and give a professional impression of your business. Once you have provided the orientation and engagement, you need to provide a clear call to action for them to take. This is the whole point, conversion. You will often have a primary and a secondary conversion target, one to get a direct sales inquiry 
and secondly, to get them to join a mailing list or newsletter. Remember also, your site analytics can measure this conversion and you can see the results of tweaks to your presentation and content that you can act upon. This has been a brief overview of setting up a website, so thanks for watching and we hope you found it helpful.